I'm over in the EDM department. Today we're making a very intricate part out of one of the hardest metals on the planet. This is C2 tungsten carbide. We're gonna talk about why when it comes to making parts out of this material, milling and turning are not the best option. I'm super excited, so let's get right into it. So for this part, we have two operations and we need a way to index our part accurately throughout our program. So in order to do that, we're gonna use our Eroa Quick Chuck and our V-Block setup. Now, one thing to note about this V-Block setup is our part isn't sitting on center of our holder. So what we did was we probed the center of our holder and then we found the exact intersection point between this edge and this edge, and that allows us to know the location of this corner of our part throughout the entire program. Now, all we need to do is find the center point of our quick chuck in Y and touch off on the end of our part, and we'll be good to go. Now we can cut. Most machinists are familiar with tungsten carbide because it's used in cutting tools like lathe inserts or end mills, but it also works great for metal stamping dies. It's got high compressive strength, strong wear properties, and very good deflection resistance. tungsten carbide starts out as a very fine powder. It's then centered together using a cobalt binder. During our burn, since cobalt has a lower melting point than tungsten, our EDM is actually eroding away the cobalt binder, which is causing the tungsten granules to fall out during our cut. So our first operation is complete. Our finish on our part looks beautiful. At this point, we can easily index our part and then we'll be ready to run our second operation. Now we don't have to pick up on our part at all. At this point, we're ready to run our second operation. So one thing I had to take into consideration when programming this part is these slots are actually 50 thousandths wide. My wire is 10 thousandths diameter plus three and a half thousandths for my overburn on my rough pass. So if I would have just come in here with a rough and five trims, I would have been left with a very narrow piece of tungsten carbide in my slot that could be moving around, burning my part or contacting my wire. Now to alleviate that, I added a rough pass at the beginning of my program that's gonna come in and clear the way for my next tool pass so that I don't have any very thin slugs that are gonna cause me problems. This way, my machine can run completely unattended and I don't have to worry about it. This is something to watch for when you're programming the wire EDM. In this case, we knew exactly how to alleviate the problem. Cutting tungsten carbide on a mill, lathe, or grinder is not impossible, but using EDM, we can cut very intricate features, hold tight tolerances, and accomplish superior surface finish, and we don't need expensive diamond tooling to do so. To cut our tungsten carbide part, we're using standard uncoated brass wire, and we're also running one rough pass and 
five finish passes. Now that's important because when EDMing tungsten carbide, it can leave behind micro cracks on the surface of our part. Now, we need to run at least four skim cuts to assure that it leaves behind no micro cracks on the surface of our part. But in this case, we're gonna run five so we can accomplish the best surface finish possible. All right, so our second dot program is finished, and right now our tungsten carbide punch is being held by a very small tab. Now, we have some incredibly delicate features on this part, and tungsten carbide is hard, but it's very brittle. So I didn't cut through our part all the way and let it fall into the tank because I didn't want to run the risk of breaking one of those features. So right now I'm going to go ahead and break our punch off of its tab, and I'm going to show you guys how it turned out. absolutely beautiful i mean these are 50 thousandths wide by three quarters of an inch long slots through this tungsten carbide part this is one of the hardest metals on earth and i just want to take a second to say that we've got some incredible machines in this facility but none of them could make this part like our wire edm did the finish of our part feels very smooth so i want to take it over to the profilometer and i want to see how good of a surface finish we got but first, I'm gonna clean this thing up with some cotton polish so that it shines like glass. The tech file we use to cut our part says that we should have an eight VDI surface finish, which translates to a 10 RA. So let's see what we ended up with. So we got a 9.83 RA surface finish on our tungsten carbide part, which is actually slightly better than we expected. We used uncoated brass wire, one rough, five trim passes. Manufacturing is all about utilizing every piece of equipment in your shop for the right application. Now there's obviously other ways of processing tungsten carbide to make real parts, but in this case, the way our part was shaped, the AV35 wire DM was an absolute no brainer to make this punch. So even though this is one of the hardest metals on earth, we were still able to make an incredibly precise, very delicate and intricate part that had high levels of accuracy because we have the right technology and the right equipment. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you haven't checked it out already, we just released a free grinding academy. You can find that at grindingacademy.com. There's tons of free videos. It's awesome. Take your career to the next level. Hope you guys have a good day. We'll see you next time. Boom.